Much Ado About Nothing is a typical Shakespearean comedy. Marks. 10 to 12. Answer. Unlike most of the comedies in English literature, Shakespeare's comedies are not a criticism of life. The characters don't show Shakespeare as an indignant moral satirist. Shakespeare depicts his characters with much humanity and large-hearted sympathy that we laugh with them but not at them. Typical of a Shakespearean comedy, Much Ado About Nothing bears solely the comic spirit, romance being all comprehensive. According to Shakespeare himself, life is a mingled yarn of joys and sorrows, so we witness a free mingling of the comic and the tragic, the serious and the gay in this comedy. Let's have an analysis of Much Ado About Nothing as a typical Shakespearean comedy. Love and marriage. The course of true love does not run smooth in Shakespeare's comedies. Much Ado About Nothing has a complicated love story passing through some vicissitudes, ultimately ending in happiness. Love of hero Claudio and Beatrice Benedict ends in marriage only after obstacles and dangers. Moreover, the scenes of his comedies are placed in remote regions. We are taken to the Palace of Illyria in Twelfth Night, into the Garden of Belmont in The Merchant of Venice, to Vienna in Measure for Measure, and to Messina in Much Ado About Nothing. Women predominating men. Shakespeare has dealt with a magnitude of women ranging from Miranda to Cleopatra. According to Gordon, all lectures on Shakespearean comedy tend to become lectures on his women. He aptly says, the world of a Shakespearean comedy is a world made safe for women, a world in which a girl can prosper and come to flower. Observing much ado about nothing on this light, one finds that Beatrice undoubtedly outshines Benedict and Hero is much superior to Claudio. Wit and humor. Shakespeare is kind, sympathetic and tolerant in his humor. He does not laugh at the foolish, vain and conceited but laughs with them. Dogberry and Verges are created with largeness of heart and sympathy, of which only a Shakespeare, a Dickens or a Cervantes is capable. In Much Ado About Nothing, not only are Beatrice and Benedict involved in the wit skirmishes but Leonardo, Don Pedro, Claudio, Margaret and Ursula also take their turns at it. Low comedy Shakespeare who wrote for his audience knew what they wanted. In every one of his comedies, he introduces stupid rustics or mechanics, who provide scenes of pure fun which not infrequently verge on the farce. But benign humanity of the author prevents them from degenerating into mere fools, and his architectural skill makes them play a part in the story. The low comedy in Much Ado About Nothing centers around Dogberry and Verges. They are stupendously fatuous, prodigiously incompetent. Dogberry's violence of language and law are extremely diverting. No less interesting are his instructions to the watch. Egotism of Dogberry knows no bounds. The pomp of magistracy does not sit lightly on his shoulders. Shakespeare, however, forces his clowns into the service of the plot. Happy Ending Shakespeare's comedies usually end with the happy ringing of the marriage bells. Similarly, Much Ado About Nothing deals with the beginning of love in the first act, and passing through the vicissitudes, the story ends with both the couples, Beatrice Benedict and Hero Claudio being tied in the knots of matrimony. Finished. Please subscribe to the channel for more updates of ready-made notes on English literature.